this is too much. No, don't tell me there's water. And that's why they call it water. Oh my god. Oh my god. No way. You mean to tell me if I went there, I could bring a water gun and shoot Julie with a water gun? Fresh off the heels of crystal eyes, we got Acid Angel. Yes, I reacted to them out of order, and so what? So we're off the crystal eyes reaction. We're on to Acid Angel subunit of Triple S. I hadn't realized that one of the songs that we reacted to like way, way early when I first was uh, learning who Triple S was, was Generation. Didn't even realize that, obviously at the time, because I didn't know who the group was. We start with Access, which is of course our intro. Let's go though. You can hear that heavy guitar influence and piano. I think it's really their drums. The, the, the guitar and drums is like what builds their sound. You can hear the generation. I just kind of wanted to hear a transition from intro to, to generation. That's really cool. I think this would have been cool if I had have reacted to the whole thing at the same time, but I didn't. What really builds Triple S's sound is their choice of drums, you know, for, for, for the kicks and snares and everything, as well as the guitars that they pick. I'm going to test my luck and see if this, the, the first stage version, it's posted on Triple S's channel. Let's see if it'll let me just react to that or if it'll get blocked here on YouTube. Hey, this is really high def, really high definition. Have you seen those videos where it's like when the choreo doesn't match the song? I feel like this is one of those instances here, at least for me. Wait. I could see another song paired with this choreo. Hey. I forgot to check, uh, who's in this unit? How do they come up with these names? Acid Angel from Asia, bro. Yuyan, Nakia, yes! Hyrin and Yubin. Nakia, yes! He's the only one that I, well, actually, no, I know Yuyan too. The, I just, I'm sure, I don't know everybody's names. There's, there's 24 of them, give me a break. We're gonna check out the coded lyric after this too. These bits are tough. Hey. I'm paying attention to like everyone, but I'm paying attention to, to, to her the most. And the leather jacket, she's killing it. Oh. This song is really cool.
she she's she's very cool i i'm gonna try and get their names after this like names to faces Vibe. We're going to check out the coded lyric. Pretty sure this song's a playlist, though, just from what we heard. Hey, you know, I love me some strings. getting bigger she can't talk to her really. hey hi falsetto vocal I like her. Perfection so beautiful heavens thing what Tastes are different. Wow, I am so slow. I it took me up until the end. It's titled Rolex. They're talking about shiny things, gold and you know, white, silver, shining. <sighs> yeah, I'm not the brightest bulb. Not all the time, that is. Yeah, it's totally fine for me to simp over Yu Yan and Nakio on just a little bit. Just a little bit. This one's interesting because it's it's pretty different from what we've heard so far from Triple S, at least for me. It doesn't really sound like anything else that they've released. Let's keep going. We got like two more songs, technically two more full songs and an outro to react to. So Sharla. Ow. Ooh. Hey, I just said it's okay for me to simp over Nak Young and, and Yu Young just a little bit. This is gonna be this is gonna be a hit. This is gonna be a hit. Uh, I 
Ashley. Oh, shit. I think something happened to me. What's up that happened to you? <laughs> Ashley Giggly. You're right. <laughs> It's something different. <laughs> hold on hold on because my brain can only take so much here why why is she rapping so low you know it's the low registers that really that really mess me up hiding sounds amazing too right after knocking on like you are a monster <laughs> Locked up like this for you. Run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back. Dude, you even didn't have to come in like that. It was so good. And you yourself, ah, this whole subunit. giving me some dark and evil and I love it. Not really evil, but like dark. Now she's singing. Doing the low in the background. Probably not young. But someone else has to be hearing that. There's, there you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, you have to be hearing that. Oh, yeah. Dude, my voice can't do that. Why are we that low? It had to be her. Then again? That one might have been artificial. I don't know if that one was legit. Ooh, this one's really good. Ooh. Playlist. This subunit just sounds different from everything that Triple S has dropped to this point. The only song that sounded uh, like what they do do for real, for real now is Generation. That's it. Rolex didn't sound anything like what we've heard before in the past. It sure as hell didn't from the jump, especially Knock Young. What are we doing? We have Dimension now. <laughs> dimension, but you can hear the vocals. Okay, so just from seeing the title of this, someone else uploaded. I want to assume that this will probably have the same issue that uh, the Crystallized version had. It sounds so good. Ooh. 
Why did they do three versions of this song? This one's real close. It's so far not as bad as Crystal Eyes. Like vocal what? Oh yeah, it's bad, never mind. Thinking with this, I can barely hear myself think. Oh, my God! Well, they definitely learned a lot from these early releases, that is for sure. I love this instrumental, but why is it so loud? Yeah, they learned a lot from these early releases, let me tell you, because, look, listen, we can hear their vocals now. <laughs> we can hear their vocals. Even in, even in a cymbal album, though, they didn't do that. I don't know, that kind of perplexes me. Why they would mix the vocals so low, but then, after a cymbal and then crystallize, they did the same thing on Dimension, so dope! I'm not the only person that, because I mentioned this in the Crystal Eye reaction, I'm getting an odd eye circle, early Luna type of vibe. Assemble 24 is definitely the best one though. Let's see, did this man cook? Wow. Light and day different. So far so good, honestly. They might have cooked. They might have cooked. I like that. I like that. Um, it's it's a bit of a shame that uh, the original didn't do that. It is what it is. Okay, we got one more. Uh, plus 82. Well, I got a. Never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, how did this get a music video? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, wait a minute! Sounds like an Afro beat. I thought it would be an Afro beat, and I'm cool with this.
cool w outro for the win um okay so acid angels i really like this subunit i think i saw in a comment that it got this this subunit got disbanded already so it's unfortunate but it can always come back right uh acid eyes oh i get it both subunits now combine to cherry bean right I'm gonna check that out could be trippy oh it's an acid trip Wait, they mix every song into one. How'd they get away with this? This is cool. Generation is mixing. This is actually legitimately cool. Hey. Wow. As trippy as it is, it's actually not too hard on the eyes, which I thought it was going to go insane, but it wasn't. It's was actually quite easy to digest, so I, I like that. Um, it's cool that they would combine all, like, both of the subunits and mix in their songs into one song and make it make sense. At this point, I'll end up dropping another video just to finish off. I think I'm missing some solos and stuff. That will conclude AAA. My thoughts? I love this subunit. I, I want it. I want it back. Charlotte's Charlotte's crazy, but I want this subunit back. This was crazy. Crystal Eyes was super dope, clean. Loved it. Something about AAA, bro. Something about it. Till next time, y'all take care. Peace.